All right, so I'm going to show you how to use AI to find out what you want to cosplay as in 2023. The first website we're going to use is ChatGPT. Now check this out. I'm going to type in, could you send me some cosplay ideas for 2023? All right, now watch this. You see how quick that was? And it's taken in consideration of shows and movies that are coming out in 2023, just like that, without doing hardly any research. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is, let's say, can you expand on this a bit? You can phrase this any kind of way. He's Now, now the AI is going to go a little bit more in depth of what you can do with these cosplay uh, ideas. So I, I don't know about the Eternals. Maybe Cyberpunk is a good one. The Witcher, definitely. Um, I'm kind of surprised they didn't mention Wednesday, but I guess that's trend is going to end soon. But the Mandalorian is going to be a big one. Um, and then Demon Slayer is probably going to be a big one too. So this is not too bad, uh, to be honest. The next thing I'm going to show you is Mid Journey before we end this video. But this is another way you can use AI to figure out what your next cosplay is going to be. So let's say you're going to want to do a Cyberpunk uh, 2099 cosplay. Now watch this. Um, but let's jump to the present. And then I'm going to type in imagine. Sorry, slash. There we go. I'm gonna, basically, you got to have the slash. So imagine space. Then you're going to make your prompt and control v cyberpunk 2022 let's just say female cosplay costume or cos female cosplayer um you only get 25 credits so be careful don't go nuts on this and after your 25 credits you gotta pay to use the software okay so right now it's building the oh wow that was fast so here we go so now if you click on this these are some cosplay ideas using cyberpunk cosplay uh, 2077. And then let's say you don't like any of these. Uh, what you can do is you can do a, re a new version, but that's going to count as a credit. So you may not want to do that. And if you want to upscale it, you can do one, two, three, four. So it's one, two, three, four. And if you want different variations of like, say this last one, you can do that. You go into your uh, website, the website for Midjourney, and look at your prompts there and images. Once you do this, you just click on original, and this you can download it by just going right click and save, basically save image through there. So, like if you want this to be blown up, you can have it have like the single picture. Now, one last thing I want to say before I end this video is you'll notice that this character. Um, I don't know how fast this thing is going to render. Let me see. I'm actually pretty surprised it rendered this fast. Let me scroll up. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be rendering very fast for the... Up oh, there it is. Um, you can even leave reviews. You can say, yeah, this was sweet. Um, you could take the original prompt and, and do a full body. So instead of saying Cyberpunk 2077 female cosplayer, you can say... Cyberpunk 2077 full body female cosplayer. So then that way you can see what the bottom part would need to look like, what the back would need to look like, because you can start expanding on this. Um, you can start making variations. I'm not going to do that. You can even go here to the web and this will take you to the your account, which I'm not going to go to that either. Um, but yeah, this is basically how you can build your cosplay ideas and your concepts without having to draw a concept art. It's extremely powerful, huge time saver. And uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, let's see if this thing goes viral or whatever. <laughs> I'll keep making more of these. Um, but this is uh, the future. The future is now. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to Cosplay Powers. And don't forget to join our Discord. All right, see ya.